there guys, Billabo10000 here, and today I am bringing you my predictions for newcomer characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. As you all know, I'm extremely excited for this newest installment in the Smash franchise, and the talk of the town is who could be getting into the base roster. I've been scouring Smash boards, watching YouTube videos, doing my own research, and I've decided to start rating some characters myself. This isn't a countdown list though, I'll be working a little bit differently. I'll bring up a character, and then give them two percentage scores based out of 100. One for their chance of being a newcomer, and one for my personal want of them being a newcomer. Using the formula of the Rate Their Chances thread over on Smashboards, which you can find in a link down below. Today, I'll be focusing on five characters that have shown a lot of popularity, and I want to weigh in myself. I will not be including potential Echo Fighters, as they'll get their own video, and if there's a character you want my opinion on, leave them in the comments below so that I can make more of these videos. Today's characters that we'll be focusing on are Springman from ARMS, Rex and Pyra from Xenoblade 2, King K. Rule from the Donkey Kong Country games, Elma from Xenoblade X, and Isaac from Golden Sun. Without further ado, let's begin, and be sure to share your own thoughts in the description below. Springman is the main poster boy from Nintendo's latest new IP, ARMS, released on June 16th, 2017. He's got a unique property in that his arms are springy and can launch across the stage to attack opponents, but will he be a fighter? Springman, as far as chances go, gets a 5% chance which isn't a lot, and let me tell you why. Recently, Sakurai released a column on Famitsu that explained the first draft of Smash Bros. Ultimate was submitted in December 2015, while the DLC for Smash 4 was still in development, just two months after the Smash ballot ended. That means the final roster, if not finalized then, was definitely finalized at least in early to mid-2016. And Springman is a character from a 2017 game and from a new IP that nobody was sure would actually sell well at the time. As such, due to timing, he wouldn't make it into the base roster unless Nintendo explicitly forced an ARMS rep into the roster late in development, which I don't think would be the case. Springman, if he ever gets into Smash, could be an assist trophy or DLC in the future, but I think he missed his bus with the base roster. As for his want score, I'd give him a solid 60%. I haven't played ARMS myself, but I'm aware that he's got the potential to be the first fighter to be a boxer, but work at range instead of close hand. It'd be really cool to have him, but given his chance score... DLC or potentially an assist trophy is the most likely option for him. Sorry, ARMS fans. If you ever thought Springman had it bad, Rex and Pyra, despite being anticipated by gamers everywhere, have it even worse. Their game came out on December the 1st, 2017, my 20th birthday by the way, and there's just no way that they managed to make it into the base roster, given the project plan was formed two years prior. I rate Rex and Pyra, and if I'm wrong, feel free to attack me in the comments. A 0% chance into the base game, and that's honestly all I have to say on that. However, Xenoblade 2 did damn well for itself, and if anyone was guaranteed a spot in potential DLC for Smash Ultimate, I could see the Blade and user combo of Pyra and Rex working together beautifully. And honestly, they look interesting and could be a unique moveset based around how they need to be near each other to gain more power in fights, and they could work like an Ice Climbers based character where if Pyra goes down, then Rex's power becomes weaker. But as for a want, I'd give them a 70% because I'd love to see what kind of moveset they could bring to the table and whether they would be a transformational style character or an Ice Climber style character. Oh, now we're getting into the nitty gritty here with King K. Rule. With Ridley having been confirmed, K. Rule is the last major villain from those early Nintendo franchises that is to make an appearance in Smash Brothers, and he's an interesting case. 
The last game he appeared in was a Mario spin-off, Mario Sluggers, and he was not brought in for any of the new Donkey Kong Country games, showing that Nintendo definitely left him behind while taking the Donkey Kong series forwards. King K. Rool also had the added issue of not being an obvious villain. He only appeared at the end of the Donkey Kong Country games and never appeared at any point in the story except as the end boss. This means that anyone who played Donkey Kong Country and didn't complete the games never even met the guy, unlike Ganon, Bowser, and Ridley who all have various appearances throughout their big games to cement themselves as the villain in the player's eyes. However, King K. Rool had support during the Smash Ballad era, and he's been a constant supported character since pre-Brawl, the proof being the K. Rool Mii costume that was added to Smash 4, and with the project plan for Smash Ultimate being proposed just two months after the ballot, we can expect to see a lot of the newcomers be represented via the ballot. And King K. Rool might just have a shot if that's the case. His big competition is probably Dixie Kong, the other possible Donkey Kong rep, as with such little space in Ultimate's roster according to Sakurai himself, I imagine only one or the other will make it, and not both. As such, King K. Rool gets a 50% chance. It could go either way, but I would bet that at least one of King K. Rool or Dixie will definitely make the base roster. As for the want score, I don't really care for King K. Rool myself. I never really enjoyed the Donkey Kong series, and Diddy is the only character I remotely like, but I'd love to see the K. Rool fanbase get to celebrate and have their character. I like seeing other people happy, sue me. So, I'll give him a 50% as well for my want score. For those of you not in the know, Elmer is the central protagonist of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Now, I don't know much about X myself, but from my research, while Cross is the main avatar character of the game, Elmer is basically the protagonist and the person speaking in the cutscenes, and is basically the face of the game. I mean, I recall her being in all the trailers leading up to release. Xenoblade as a franchise has been selling well, and with three games now, I think it's about time they get a second rep and Elmer came into existence at the perfect time to be considered relevant for the base roster. Xenoblade Chronicles X came out in April 2015 in Japan, and in December 2015 worldwide, so she'd have been relevant enough in Japan to possibly gain traction in the Smash ballot, plus being the new character at the time, and based on how Smash 4 added mainly characters that were from recent titles, assuming the pattern holds up for Smash 5, she fits the bill for a Xenoblade rep more than Rex and Pyra. I don't know much about her fighting style, but having more female representation in Smash is never a bad thing, and she does have a badass mech that I'm sure is going to be her final Smash if she makes it into the game. As such, I'd have to give her chances a good 70%. Of course, there's always the chance that Sakurai says, we'll just focus on the ballot and no new characters, which would shaft Elma because she'd only have support from the ballot in Japan, but I find it so likely that she would be considered as her game just comes out a perfect time to be in Smash and rep Xenoblade as it continues to grow. As far as want, I'm not familiar with her, so I'd say 30% because I'm uninformed as to how she'd play or her character in general, but I do love her design and her mech, so I think that's a fair percentage all around. And of course, my boy, Isaac from Golden Sun. Isaac has a similar argument to King K. Rool in that if he's going to get into this game, it's going to be through the fanbase and the ballot, and not the relevancy, because the last Golden Sun game, as far as when the roster was developed, was five years before, now eight years ago. However, he is a character that has been featured in Smash before. He was an assist trophy in Brawl and was cut in the 3DS Wii U version for unknown reasons. This means he's on Sakurai's radar, and maybe he didn't get a Mii costume in the Smash 4 DLC because they were saving him for something bigger? Or maybe he's not being considered. I also think that Isaac is a perfect candidate for new IPs to be represented as playable, as right now we only have the Inklings as a new IP in Splatoon, and I think that it's more important to get new IPs represented over giving existing IPs more reps. Either way, Isaac's popularity in the ballot I think is underestimated by the core Smash Bros fanbase, especially the people over on Smashboards. 
I personally voted for Isaac, and I was not involved in speculation or the core community at all. I was just a random person who liked the game and voted for him. And if I can be a part of the silent vote, what's to say there's not a silent majority out there who voted for our golden boy Isaac? He was incredibly popular in France and Spain during the original GBA Golden Sun era as a character, though he was also known as Hans in Spain, so that's something to look out for. So Europe could be repping our boy in secret, who knows? That being said, I'd rate Isaac's chance at a 40%. I still think other characters will get priority, and I'm expecting to see Isaac at least return as an assist trophy if not a character. As for want, Isaac is my 100% want pick. He's the only character I truly want in this game. And if you want to see more about my thoughts on Isaac, check out my Isaac Focus Smash video in the card in the top right corner. So with that, those are my thoughts on 5 potential characters for Smash Bros. Ultimate. I thought I'd get the ARMS and Xenoblade reps out of the way, as they seem to be heavily speculated despite most of the game's production time discounting their additions, and I want to make sure people are aware of that now. What were your thoughts on my reasonings? Did I make any mistakes, or do you disagree? Leave a comment down below with your own thoughts and characters you'd like to see me rate next, and if you really enjoyed the video, leave a like and maybe even drop a subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time! Goodbye.